In this class, we will try to find out the boundary condition in case of electric field. What we are going to do is, we are going to take two regions, let me call as region 1 and let me call this as region 2. Now, this is a two dielectric medium. We have to find the tangential component of electric field and the normal component. Let us draw the tangential component first. So, let me call this as it is a region 1, let me call this as E tan 1, let me call this as E tan 2. This means nothing but electric field tangential component in the second region. Let me assume the length of this as delta x. Now, we already know that from the potential E dot dl over a closed path will be always equal to 0. So, in that case, we will apply this formula over here. Now, E dot dl, when I will say E dot dl, we will have it E tan 1, what is the length here? Delta x minus E tan 2 delta x would be equal to 0. So, from this equation we have written this. Now, can I say that equating this equation can I say that E tan 1 is equal to E tan 2. So, the tangential component in region 1 will be equal to the tangential component in region 2. So, in case of two dielectric medium, the tangential component in both the region will be equal. Let us see about the normal component. How we can find the normal component? Let me draw this. Let us say for this region, the normal is dn1. For this, let me call this dn2. From the Gauss law, we know that d dot ds will be equal to the charge enclosed over the closed surface, right? We all know this. Now, if I apply same here, can I say that dn1, the normal one, dot ds, the surface area, minus dn2, the surface area ds, equal to q? So, can I say that dn1 minus dn2 is equal to, if I take the ds that side, it will become q by ds, which is nothing but rho s. So, it is dn1 minus dn2 is equal to surface charge density. So, we have proved that in case of an electric field, the tangential component would be equal and the normal component would be given by dn1 minus dn2 is equal to rho s.